Hey y'all, it's Lonnie and welcome back to my channel where we talk about everything mom life, wife life, kid life, and of course, homeschool. If you are new here, thank you so much for stopping by. Make sure you hit that subscribe button down at the bottom and the bell at the top to get a notification every time I upload something new. If you are true to this channel, thank you so much for sticking with me and supporting and watching all of my videos and sharing with your friends. Now, let's get into it. Hey y'all, so today's video is all about the pros and cons of homeschool. So a lot of people are interested in homeschool, they want to start homeschool, and something that we typically search for is knowing the pros and the cons. How can we benefit from homeschooling and how is homeschooling going to affect our lives, positively and negatively. So today I'm sharing with you all of my pros and cons of homeschool. Today's video is in collaboration with my other homeschool mama friend, Brittany, from Robinson's Real Life. I'll leave her channel link down below. As soon as you finish watching this video, head over to her channel to check out her pros and cons of homeschool. Hello everyone, this is Brittany Robinson from Robinson Real Life. Over on my channel, I do a lot of homeschool videos, mommy, day in the life videos, we do vlogs. I even chat a little bit about couponing and how you'd go about doing digital couponing. I cook, I clean, anything mom and wifey type of lifestyle, that is what I'm all about. So go ahead, hop on over after you get done watching Lonnie's video. If you haven't already noticed, I'm in front of a new background wall today. I've been getting a lot of comments about my background and I wanted to showcase another one. I have two of these kinds of focal walls in my house. I am the mom of three and my two girls both have this kind of geometric thing going on in their room. One is a pink room, one is a purple room. So I thought I would share both with you. I may do another one. If I do that, I'll definitely do a tutorial. It's super easy, but a lot of people have been making comments on the wall, how much they like it, how cool it is. So thank you and I appreciate it. All my hard work went into these walls and I'm thankful that you like it. And it's a good background for me. Now, let's get back to the video. Okay, to keep things nice and even, I am going to give you a pro and a con. I'm not gonna do all the pros and all the cons because I want to make sure that I give you an equal amount. By no means uh, is this list exhaustive. These aren't all of my pros and all of my cons. These are just some of the pros and some of the cons that I see with homeschool. These are my personal opinions. Your opinions of homeschool may be different, but I know when I was researching to begin homeschooling, I really wanted to know what other moms thought, how they genuinely felt about the homeschooling process, what were the pros, what were the cons. So hopefully those of you that are out there researching that are looking to get started in homeschooling, I hope that this is very helpful for you. Okay, the first pro is the freedom to choose. I know that is so generic, but, <laughs> but it's true. When you decide to homeschool, you have the freedom to choose how you want to educate your child. You have the freedom to choose what curriculum you want to use, the freedom to choose what subjects, the freedom to not use a curriculum if you don't want to. There's just so much freedom and so much opportunity there that is pretty awesome. You have like an endless supply of options at your fingertips. Many people choose to homeschool because of that freedom, because they want to be able to educate their child how they see fit. Now with that freedom comes a con. The con is no direction. Sometimes no direction is too many directions and you get super overwhelmed because there is not one like goal standard, this is how you should homeschool, follow step A, B, C, D. It's just so open that some people is really a lot of information to process and to kind of sift through to decide what is best for you and your family. Okay, another pro of homeschooling is that you are allowed to teach what you believe is important. So if it's important that your child learn about biblical principles, you are allowed to teach them that. Whereas in public school, they can't learn those sort of things. So whatever it is that you think is important, you can now impart that information to your child. And they may not have had that opportunity 
in public school. Okay, and staying true to my word, I'm gonna give you a con that goes along with that. So the con is that not every state is the same. So most states really give you that opportunity to do whatever it is that you want to do in homeschool. But some states do dictate what you can teach, how many hours you can teach it, and so on. So you can still teach the things that are important to you, but you kind of have to filter that around maybe like core subjects. The reason that a lot of people homeschool and a big pro is that you have so much more time for extracurricular. Whatever those extra activities are that your family is into, maybe is that you guys do a Bible study in the middle of the day and you want your kids to be involved in that. Maybe it's a sport, maybe whatever it is. You have a lot more time for extracurricular activities. I know personally for us, we weren't really into many extracurriculars as a family because the way our schedule worked, we we're kind of booked all day long. So when we got home, it was like dinner, homework, family time, bath, Bed. We didn't have time for too many extracurriculars. Now that we are homeschooling, we find ourselves doing a lot more extra things. And I really, really enjoy that. And I think the kids are enjoying it too. Even my two kids who are not homeschooled, they're definitely benefiting from the extracurricular because we pick them up a little bit early some days and then we go immediately to our activities. So that's really cool. Okay, the con that goes along with the extracurriculars is so expensive. It's so expensive. Some of the activities can get really astronomically expensive. Some of them you feel like they aren't extras, but they're necessary. So if there's a really cool science class that you want your kid to take, it may be a little bit expensive. And then that stuff adds up. So if your child is in karate and science and Bible Bowl and, 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 your pockets really start to feel it. It can get super expensive, super quickly. So my advice there is to kind of fill out the activities. Don't be afraid to ask whoever is in charge. Can you, you know, come to a sample lesson or sample activity? See if your child likes it, sit down and have that discourse with them and then decide, is this feasible within my family's budget? There's a whole bunch of free activities and extracurriculars out there that you can get into. You just have to research them in your area. Don't be afraid to go that route. We do a whole bunch of free activities and then we also do some that carry a cost. But don't overwhelm yourself or your child with excessive extracurriculars. Sometimes one or two is enough for them to really build you know, a good bond with some friends, really enjoy the activity and the outing and not get, you know, caught up and feeling like they're always being shuffled from activity to activity. Okay, this is one of my favorite pros, one of my favorite pros. In the morning, there is no mad dash, no mad dash in the morning. So I was a classroom teacher and our schedule used to be when mama gets up, everybody gets up. <laughs> so everybody had to get up, get dressed and we had to get out of the door by about 6 15 in the morning to make sure everyone got to the place they needed to be and to be traffic we live in an area that's really like popping with growth so traffic is traffic traffic is off the chain traffic is crazy so we had to get up super early in the morning that included me rushing the kids along hurry up hurry up time to go time to go time to go so by the time we're leaving in the morning everyone's already kind of agitated i'm agitated because i'm rushing the kids are agitated because i'm rushing them and then i have to go to school and deal with a set of 25 to 30 kids and put on my happy face and whoo give all my energy but anyway there is no mad dash in the morning anymore so i still wake up fairly early in the morning to work and then she wakes up whenever she wakes up. My two older kids, they're still in public school. So they have a little bit of a mad dash, but it's not as strenuous as it used to be. And thank you, Jesus. Thank you. So the con with no mad dash is sometimes we do get our day started late. I am, I guess you would call a morning person. I don't like to wake up early but once I'm up I'm good and I can get everything done and I start to slow down around the early evening hours so since I let my daughter wake up whenever she wakes up 
that's when we get our day started and sometimes that's a little bit late sometimes we don't get started until noon last week we had night school for the first time it was kind of cool we really enjoyed it we turn on the flashlight and did our lessons, you know, in the dark with the flashlight. And that was really fun. But if you are like me and you kind of start to putter out of energy in the early evening hours, then that could be a problem. So yeah. Another pro of homeschooling is definitely finishing school in a couple hours. You don't need to have your child sit down for eight hours a day to get through a lesson. Depending on your kid and depending on the grade level, you really could probably make it through your entire day's worth of activities and lessons in a few hours, even if you break that up, like an hour in the morning and then whatever, and then an hour after lunch and an hour in the evening, you might be done in three hours. And that's really cool because you get to really see their growth and know that, hey, you know what? They didn't need a six to eight hour school day. They were able to thrive just off of these few hours of lessons that we are able to do each day. Okay, the con is that there's so much empty time, empty space, dead time. And that can be very stressful. I think for me, it is difficult because we are a blended family and one child is homeschooled and two children are not homeschooled. So a lot of the times it's just me and my daughter and we don't have we don't have set activities all the time to fill in that space so it can get a little bit sticky because you're like okay we're done with school go and have your alone time i have my alone time and then we look at the clock and we still have like seven hours in the day and we have to figure out something to get through it so i think that can definitely be a con that's something that we're working on is to try to figure out what to do in that space where we don't have an activity planned we're done with schooling for the day we've had you know our independent time what's next okay for all of my safety conscious moms out there this is super a super super pro you always know where your child is at all times since your child is typically with you or someone that you trust when you're homeschooling you always know where they are and you aren't overly concerned about what may be happening to them at school or what they're doing at school or what they are being subject to at school. So I think that is really awesome. I'm not really a worrier. So when my child was in public school, I wasn't too worried. I was a little bit concerned about, you know, some of the influences that she may get from other kids. But then I had to stop and remind myself, you know what, I was probably exposed to some of this stuff as a child too. And I think I turned out pretty good. So <laughs> I think she would be okay but it's really reassuring to always know where your child is what kind of people they're around and kind of tailor their life to be the best that it can be now on the flip side of that the con is that your alone time is very limited very very limited very limited like i'm alone right now and that's pretty cool but your alone time is very limited. You kind of have to notch out some time. You have to make time. If you are married or in a relationship and you're home homeschooling the kids all day, it's okay to tell your spouse, tag, you're it, I'm out, I gotta go, I need some time. <laughs> so uh, I talk about that in my week five update is still something that I'm struggling with is to find the balance of you know being there 100% all the time and finding time to be alone finding time to go hang out with my friends and not feeling that mom guilt about it another really awesome pro of homeschooling is that the education is tailored and you get to cater to your child's academic needs so we all know that every child learns differently every child deserves an education that is tailored towards them and homeschooling gives you an awesome awesome opportunity to do just that if your child has a learning disability a physical disability if your child is gifted if your child has a speech impediment whatever the case may be, you can tailor their education specifically to them. On the flip side, a con of that is if you enroll your child or re-enroll your child back into the public education system, they may be academically behind. 
and that's okay but a lot of people are concerned about that and i think that is a valid concern because if you have a child that age-wise should be in third grade at third grade level and you found that your child is working through first grade and you're plugging away at that and for some reason you have to send them back to school they're going to be behind and there'll be some measures that you need to put in place to ensure that they get the services that they need but it's it's a con it's a con okay and i know this video is getting a little bit lengthy but the last pro is that you get to live life how you see fit if you want to travel the world with your child you can do that if you want to stay home with your child every day you can do that if you want to learn through field trips whatever the case may be homeschooling really gives you the opportunity to live life how you see fit and to expose your child to so many awesome things that they really might not get the opportunity to if they are schooled in public school or private school or a more traditional way so i think that probably is by far my favorite thing about homeschooling is that you kind of just get to do your own thing. And I think that's pretty cool. Now, the one con I can see to that is, and I see this a lot, like in my Facebook groups, you, you get questioned about your motives and how you're raising your child because you chose to go against the grain, you chose to homeschool, but I don't think everything is for everybody and there's nothing wrong with that. If you disagree with homeschooling, okay, you disagree with homeschooling, okay. There is a way to ask people about, you know, what motivated them to do that? What do you see are the benefits without being offensive? And I think sometimes when we question people's motives, especially when it comes to their children, like the mama bear comes out. So if you are a homeschooling mama, try not to get so caught up in other people's opinions if god led you here if god led your family here he will make a way and it's going to be fine it's going to be perfect don't let the questions get you frustrated don't let the questions make you feel like you made a wrong decision because you did what you think is right for your family and that's really all you can do Okay guys, so there you have it. Those are my pros and cons of homeschooling. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have some other pros and cons that you'd like to share, please make sure you comment down below. Let's get some discussion going down there in the comment section because I know there are a lot of opinions out there about homeschooling. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye.